Welcome to module number three, six D's of exponential growth and reading an exponential roadmap. As an entrepreneur, as a CEO, your ability to understand what's in the lab today and then what's coming to market in the next two to five years is critically important. One of the things that I learned a lesson from the founders of Siri when they created Siri before they sold it to Apple was they told me, you know, when we were designing Siri, we were focused on where the technology would be in three or four years and intercepting the technology so that the product we were building today, when it came to market, would be on the cutting edge versus building something with what exists in the tech field today and having it be out of date by the time it comes to market. So your ability to predict is critically important. And one of the concepts that I wrote about in bold one of the measures, one of the scorecards, one of the ways that I think about exponential technologies is called the six Ds. And we're gonna be going into a lot of detail because it's the way I hope you will view the world, understand again, how the tech world is changing. Now, the six Ds are very simple. We'll go into greater detail. The first is whatever becomes digitized enters a period of deceptive growth, then disruptive growth, then it dematerializes products and services, demonetizes products and services, and then democratizes products and services. And we're going to go into detail into every one of those, but I'd like to give you one overarching example that will help give you context. Now, if I were to ask you, have you heard of 3D printing? I think all of us would say yes, right? But at the end of the day, my question is, you know, had you heard of 3D printing five years ago? or even 10 years ago. When I'm in a room at Singularity University with our executives, our graduate students, or in a large tech audience, you know, very few people had heard of 3D printing even 15 or 20 years ago. But here's the deal. 3D printing is over a 30-year-old technology. Chuck Hull invented it back you know, today, 34 years ago. When I think about 3D printing, it's really the digitization of manufacturing. I think of 3D printing as the Star Trek replicator, being able to say what you want and having it go from sort of mind to matter in front of you. Well, here's the story, right? 3D printing, stereolithography in the early days was in very slow deceptive growth. It was growing very, very slowly. And then about five years ago, it really started entering the marketplace and becoming disruptive, changing the entire manufacturing field. And what has it done? Well, it's ultimately dematerialized things because I don't, you know, if I'm 3D printing things, I don't need a large uh, inventory supply. It's dematerialized inventory. It's demonetized it because I don't have to carry inventory. It's in the cloud and I print it when I need it. And it's democratized it, meaning that I have a digital set and I can print and produce whatever I want anywhere on the planet if I've got the 3D printers there. So we'll come back and slow this down because for me, it's important you understand the six Ds and how you can use them in your startup or to transform your industry or your company. So stay tuned. We're going to go into digitization next.